Hi there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy, and in this video, we're going to talk about Pisces and relationship with Capricorn. This is a part of my YouTube series, The Pisces Experience, where I take a look at Pisces and relationship with each sign of the zodiac. So if you haven't seen the first video I did where I go a bit more in depth on what it's actually like to date a Pisces, please go back and check that out. Pisces with Capricorn is a fine match. Capricorn as an earth sign brings a grounded energy to Pisces emotional energy. And in the meantime, Pisces has this way of stimulating Capricorn's passion and emotional side as well. So there is definitely a complementing mix of energy between these two signs. Um, where it can get a little tricky though is that Pisces is, is very abstract. And, and Pisces is kind of all over the place, very fluid-like with his or her energy. And Capricorn, in the meantime, is very focused, very structured, and very disciplined. So Capricorn can essentially bring focus and structure to emotional fluidity, or I'm sorry, to Pisces fluidity. Um, but, you know, this can be something that drains Capricorn in the long haul, right? And so you want to be mindful of this. And in the meantime, because Capricorn is so structured and disciplined and, and, and you know, hardworking and focused, um, Pisces may feel like there's no room for a real one-on-one -on -one connection in this relationship. And so that is something Pisces requires in Capricorn. This is something that you have to try and strive for with your with your Pisces, okay? As far as lovemaking, between you, um, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay in the bedroom as long as you're open to each other and each other's style of lovemaking. It can be a really wonderful experience for the two of you. Capricorn needs to loosen up um, and it, it takes some time for Capricorn to loosen up. Cap in other words, Capricorn needs a lot of foreplay. Um, Capricorn needs to be relaxed. Capricorn needs other elements in the bedroom to help him or her relax. Um, and so Pisces, if you can use your imagination to create a loving environment, um, you may find that it does the trick as far as your Capricorn being in the mood, okay? And then on the flip side, you know, Capricorn likes to please and, and Capricorn has this very sturdy, grounded, earthy approach to lovemaking. Um, and Capricorn is very passionate as well. And so Pisces, you know, once you've set the mood and created this enchanting environment, just let Capricorn do his or her own thing. And, and you will also be very pleased and surprised by what the goat, Capricorn the goat, brings to the boudoir, all right? So sexual compatibility, you know, takes some getting used to, um, but nevertheless, it, it can certainly be a wonderful match, sexually speaking. As far as your disagreements go, um, you know, this is also something you may have to make adjustments um, in terms of this area of your relationship. You know, Capricorn is, is this managerial energy. And so if something's wrong, Capricorn is going to want to discuss it uh, in a very mature way um, and, and really kind of get to the bottom of the issue in order to resolve it. And that's wonderful. Um, Pisces may have a difficult time expressing him or herself because Pisces is so emotional and so abstract in nature. And so Capricorn, in other words, you're going to have to be patient with your Pisces. And Pisces, you know, it might help if you could write things down um, just so that you have a clearer understanding of what it is that you want to express, okay? Because Capricorn wants to take the issue pull it apart, pick it apart, look at it, discuss it, and move on. And so there's just no room for, you know, this um, fluid emotional energy when it comes to discussing your grievances with Capricorn. Capricorn just wants to discuss it, get to the bottom of it, and be done with it, all right? So Pisces, you're going to have to work a little bit harder at uh, clearly expressing yourself. And in the meantime, Capricorn, you're going to have to exercise some patience, okay? Um, outside of these things, it's a really nice match. Um, and aside from a number of, uh, a few adjustments here or there, uh, it's a relationship that could definitely go the distance, okay? Um, you know, each relationship requires adjustments anyway. No relationship is ever perfect. And if you're able to get past some of your differences, there's no reason why this couldn't go the distance. If you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com.